good morning we are going eventing i'm sorry i look like a right mess i've literally just jumped out of bed chucked on some trackies and a coat it's raining um but i am just going to run over um and get tiny in because she's at home now and romeo um who is one of the work courses gonna grab them in and then um i've got really really late times today so i um don't need to leave here until quarter past 11. Am I even in focus? yoo -hoo, am I in focus? Am I in focus? Mm, better? You see my messy bedroom? That's not my bedroom. Uh, that's a bit better. Um, yeah, we haven't got to leave till quarter past 11, so I have everything to do this morning. I need to bath, plait, and do my stud holes, and pack the car. Um, it's half eight now, so there's plenty of time. I'm gonna get her in, get her bathed, and do my stud holes now, then come back over for breakfast, then go back over and platter up just before we go. Um, oh, we're going to Great Chew today to do the 80 as well. Um, probably should have said that. <laughs> hey, you two! Look at them. Don't even know I'm here. Oh, good morning. Would you like to come in out of the rain? Come on. Good morning, ponies. Are you a bit soggy? Come on then, Tiny, we're going eventing. Yay, you look like a beekeeper in that outfit. This is Romeo, guys. He is um, a workhorse. And Tiny, are you ready, Romeo? Good morning, Tiny. It's your turn. Ready to go venting? Oh, I take that as a no. <laughs> Tiny is just having her breakfast and, oh my goodness. Romeo, she's literally in the wash bay. Sorry, Romeo's being drama queen. Um, the best bit about our new yard is one, we have a wash bay indoors, and two, we have hot water for bathing. Oh, so good. Anyway, time to turn you from bog pony into a vent pony and it's chucking it down. I really hope it stops. Tiny, let me show them your pretty four-lot plait that I did that I'm actually really proud of. It doesn't look very good on camera, but. And she's just having a snack. I put her in her fleece and we're now going for breakfast before it's time to go. Tiny's all loaded with her hay net. Um, I have to admit, it doesn't really feel like we're going eventing, it's been very civilised. Obviously I'm not dressaging till half 12 and now the horses live at home. We bathed her, platted her, did her stud holes and I went home and sat down and had breakfast, like actually sat and had a coffee. Um, and yeah, and the event is only 15, 15 minutes up the road. So it's weird, it doesn't feel like we're going eventing. You be a good girl today, Tiny. Coming cookies. <laughs> More please. Should we get your studs in?
dressage is done and I don't even care what the score is. Like if the judge hates us and we get a 50, I don't care because that was the best test, in my opinion, that she's ever done. Um, she felt so rideable. I've worked really, really hard this week on her dressage. Since I've had her at home, um, I've been doing lots of little like 15 minute schooling sessions. Um, and really working on relaxing her and her downwards transitions and yeah they still need work but they're miles better than what they were and for the first time it didn't feel like I was sitting on a ticking time bomb um, I could actually ride her through the test so yeah I am very very proud of my pony right now I'm gonna take her back to the trailer pop her back on um, I've got like two hours till we go show jumping so I'll go and watch some people jump. Oh, there's a horse kicking off above, so above in front, so I better put my phone down. Okay. So we are, I say we, Edward and I are just out on the cross country course. Um, it's a really nice course, but there are loads of trees. I don't know if you can see behind me. And um, it's just working out which trees I want to go between and dodge and as I just said I'm going to hug the tree well, I mean not literally but you know keep to the tree to get tight lines to fences um just at 15 at the moment which is this um straw cart hay cart um with a bale of straw in front um I walked the course yesterday so maybe I'll put the clips of the course in now um but yeah there are a few interesting lines the only thing that's going to catch me out is just tiny being spooky there's nothing here she can't jump it's just um keeping her concentrating um it's a bit like waverton where um there were flags everywhere and yeah it's just very very spooky but hopefully um she's still feeling super positive after i run at sway cliff and we can keep building on that and she'll trust me and we'll have a good round I just found out my dressage score. Tony, do you want to tell him? She got, it begins with a two. She got 27.8. Her first ever sub 30. You little legend. Good girl. Tiny was mainly a good girl. She just does this thing. You'll, I haven't seen the video back yet. She napped at the first fence. It's not always the first. It's quite windy. But um, yeah, I was just saying to Ed that um, I need to get her out to do some more show jumping, just to like build her confidence because she definitely doesn't feel as confident in the show jumping. But she helped. She sorted us out at four. Like she went to stop at the double, and I just sat back put my leg on and she got her legs out of the way and jumped through that and she jumped over the banana jump the one I was most worried about 
um, absolutely amazing. So there are still loads of positives and this is only what, I don't know how many we've done this year, maybe our third or fourth, because um, the first one I fell off cross country, didn't I? So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's still very, very new for us. Um, and I'm not really here for the results, so I'm just here to have fun, or a bee just flew into my arm. Anyway, I'm gonna put my cross country stuff on now and uh, talk to you on the other side. She doesn't really look very cross country ready, does she? Good girl. She's come back having had her baby and uh, is in, able to enjoy eventing again. Good girl. Easily through the Maxwell Douglas village of three, on, Catherine girl. Davidson, a tiny dancer, go yeah. on to the dog kennel. Yes. Oh bugger, I found this guy. I was watching. Sorry fans. Not the best start for uh, 162. This is Luburn from Rock on Tiger. Good girl. Uh, 20 penalties. So. Well done, good girl. Good girl, Catherine. Um, we're just walking back to the trailer um, she was a good girl we had two stops but there were also some moments there where previously she would have stopped and she didn't she went for me um, she stopped at the jump before the water and the house the tiny little house but I'm not convinced um, it was the house she was looking anywhere but at the jump and then her default is to do this stupid napping thing um, and then it was a stop at the jump before the water, but it's okay because it's all learning, isn't it, Tiny? Um, and yeah, I do think one day it will just click with her. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. Like, we just keep going. We've sorted the dressage now. Show jumping is getting better. I don't know if you can hear me, the commentators are really loud. Everyone's staring at me talking to my phone. Um, yeah, and I do just think the cross country will. One day there'll just be a light bulb moment and we'll go. And you know what, doing 80s is fun. I brought her to have fun. So who cares what height they are. We have fun, don't we Tiny? That's all that matters. It's home time. Um, I just went to look at the photos and I've done that typical Catherine thing where I have ripped my riding apart. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, there's always the, I'm a perfectionist. Oh. Edward! Okay, we literally just made sure the whole lorry park was awake by the car alarm going off. <laughs> like the loudest car alarm ever. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. Um, I don't know, that I was being mean to myself and I'm trying not to. Um, so it's onwards and upwards from here. The plan now is with Tiny. Um, we've got a couple of weeks until our next event. We're doing one more 80 and then a 90 because I think um, we'll have these issues even at 90, like it's not the height of the fence. It's her looking everywhere other than the jumps. Um, one of them, one stop was at the jump before the water, but the other one was just her being lucky. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on with that. I've got some dressage lessons booked in um, and I'm just gonna keep going. And I do think one day it will just click um, and we'll get there. In the meantime, 
we'll just have fun. Um, anyway, I am going to round this video off here. I think I will because otherwise I'll, it will be like five days when I go to edit and I realise I haven't finished the vlog off. So, um, yeah. <laughs> You're laughing at me. Or you guys know the drill. Yeah. Um, give me a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And, um, oh, also, now I have a bit more free time um, at home. Let me know um, if there's any videos you'd want to see. I might film some, like, day in the life of a groom video. Um, are you laughing at me again? I'm always laughing at you. For sake. Um, yeah. Let me know what you want to see. Um, and see you in the next video.